Forgiving yourself. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, my name is Brett. It's March 13th, 2024. Today I want to talk about what I learned and found through the internet. I saw a channel that I usually see, but since I'm not really in my YouTube feed anymore, I haven't stumbled across his videos since uh, recently. It's the Dry Creek Ranger School. I'm sure I hopefully you still watch it, me in the future, and hopefully anybody here watching it, have, um, go check this channel out. I'll put it in the description below, so please check it out. What I found in his videos today was his video on forgiveness. He has an interesting take on forgiveness. In summary, he talks a lot about the Bible, a lot about religion. So in his perspective and, you know, in the Bible's perspective, you are, you're not obligated to forgive anyone until that person asks for forgiveness sincerely. So if you're doubting whether you should forgive a certain person, well, if you did ask sincerely for forgiveness, you're not obligated to forgive. That doesn't mean you should have these negative emotions bottled up. It just means you don't have to necessarily play nice to them or say, yes, I do forgive them, or yes, it's a thing of the past. It's okay to not forgive. It's okay not to forgive. And that really helps. That really has helped a lot of things, a lot of negative emotions that I've been feeling, even the smallest ones. I mean, I don't let it kill me or bottle, you know, bottle up too much. But the fact that there are some people that I have a really negative, uh, like, I cannot bring myself to forgive them. They've wronged me in a way that I can't forgive them. Not unless they ask for it and they truly mean it. Even still, I can't really forgive them that, that well. But, obviously, in my quest to self-improvement, you have to let these things go. Sorry, I moved the camera a little bit. You have to let these things go. Well, I thought that, like, you know, the fact that I feel these, like, I can't forgive, it just means there was something wrong with me. But it's normal. It is normal, and it's okay. And the most important thing is that I need to learn to forgive myself. Because I am genuinely, sincerely apologize to myself on certain things, certain habits that I haven't been able to do, certain behaviors that I want to quit, and sometimes I fall back on. And that that was killing me, killing me. That is still killing me, but I'm working on it. And, you know, thanks. Thanks to seeing his videos, and especially this one. The funny thing is, the other day, yesterday, I was writing down things that I want to master. One of them was to say sorry properly and to forgive. I stumbled across this video today. What a coincidence. Is it a coincidence? You never know. But I'm just happy that I saw his video. So I'm going to put it in the description. But one of the things he said, and I'll just leave it to you so you can check it out. I'll try to pitch it to you. Was don't, don't kill a man that doesn't exist today. So forgive yourself. The person that made the mistake yesterday, a month from now, two months from now, isn't the same person that you are today. Don't kill a man that doesn't exist today. I may be paraphrasing it, but that's, that is the message that I got from him. That's about it. I didn't really want to uh, make a video this time. I was feeling very tired. Hopefully this is short enough to get a deeper understanding of my psyche and how I'm doing at the moment. Later, we'll, hopefully, I'll have more time to talk more. I'm going to continue studying. I'm going to study for, I wanted to say two hours, but sometimes you have to study a little bit less when you're tired, you know? But you still got to put in the work. I'll do as much as I can and enough for me to uh, put an effort towards my goals, but not enough for me to collapse from from you know, from work fatigue. 
it has been pretty tough. Um, but yeah, we're going to make it till March. We're going to make it, we're going to make it through March and we're going to make it to April. So let's go.